Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis, and then give them a personal rating to help you decide whether they are worth buying or not. I buy all the products with my own money to keep the reviews unbiased. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm actually doing a three month review on the Wahoo Ticker Fit heart rate monitor and the Wahoo Ticker traditional around your chest heart rate monitor. I've had these for three months. There were a lot of reviews on Amazon that were saying at first they're great and then I saw some other reviews later on that said, you know, it stopped working, having problems connecting to my devices and that kind of stuff. Well, there's a lot of fitness watches out there to connect to these heart rate monitors. And I think it's important to know that I use the Apple Watch with the most recent software and I had no trouble whatsoever connecting to either of them. So I just wanna make that clear before we go forward. Other devices, watches might have some issues, but I was lucky enough didn't have any issues. So after not using a heart rate monitor at all and then buying these two products, I decided to start using them every day and I kind of got addicted to using them every day because it really kept track of my endurance training and my fat burning and anything else or any other zones I wanted to keep up with. It also really recorded all my workouts very accurately. As you may recall, when I first started this test, I didn't think I was gonna use these heart rate monitors when I was doing my Apple Fitness Plus. But then after a while, I decided I have to start using a heart rate monitor to connect to my Apple Watch because it was just not working that well when I didn't have a heart rate monitor connected to it. Every morning for a month, I wore the chest strap and then I switched off and every morning for a month, I used the Wahoo Ticker Fit armband version and then I went back and forth for a whole month. So after three months of using both of these products, this is my review of them. One thing I wanna point out that I did not expect was the batteries have lasted for three months. So with the Wahoo Ticker chest strap version, I did not have to replace the battery after three months and it seems to be still going strong. With this one, the Wahoo Ticker Fit, finally after three months, it looks like the battery is starting to go down. So I'm just gonna recharge it and see how it works out. Now I'm sure your next question is, which one did you prefer? And that's hard to answer actually because they both have their good qualities and then not so good qualities. But the not so good qualities on both of them are not bad at all. So I started with the chest strap and at first of course you have to get used to that, doing that every day, putting it on every day. And sometimes I just remember waking up and starting to work out and saying, oh crap, I forgot to put my heart rate monitor on. So I'd have to start, stop the workout, go into the kitchen, wet the little bands and put it on which is a little bit of a hassle, but hey, it's just muscle memory, right? You gotta get used to doing it over and over again. Biggest thing in the morning was putting that cold water on the strap and then putting it around your chest. It was kind of like a wake up call, like woo, you know, but super easy to put on. You just lift your shirt up, boop, click it on, and you're ready to go. And at first you could kind of feel it when you're working out, but after day two, day three, day four, you just kind of get used to it and you forget you have it on. So really, really easy like that. Did it slip during my workouts? You know, it didn't slip during my workouts. I had to adjust it because I think I was actually losing weight. So I just had to go back there, pull the straps, tighten a little bit and reconnect it. No big deal. What's really important too is I think it's a total bargain at $49.99. That's a great price and it's totally rock solid. The only issue I had with it was I hadn't used it for a month. So when I looked at my Apple Watch and tried to connect it, it didn't connect right away and took a little bit of time. So all I did was I turned the Bluetooth off on my watch and then turned the Bluetooth back on on my watch. It recognized it, I hit the button and it connected. So after that, most mornings it connected, no problem. Sometimes a little slower, but it connected fine. Overall, totally happy with it. Most importantly, would I buy this product again? Yes, I would buy the chest strap version Wahoo for sure. Now there is a Wahoo ticker X model that came out. I did not try that one. It's got a little more things on it, like an accelerometer, running analytics, running dynamics, treadmill mode, indoor cycling cadence, and an internal memory of 50 hours. I've seen some mixed reviews on this new one, so I am only reporting on the original one. I would just stick with the original one if you would just want a basic heart rate monitor. Now let's get to the Wahoo Ticker Fit armband version. This was incredibly easy to remember to put on in the morning because you just, if you forget, you just look down your arm like, oh, and just slide it back up. You don't have to wet it in the sink, put it right on. It connected 
really well. In fact, my watch did not forget this connection. Maybe it's because it's a newer model, not sure, but it had no problems with it whatsoever. Here's an embarrassing moment. I had the Velcro straps put on wrong. I actually had them, instead of on the outside, I had them on the inside. That was, I can't believe I did that, but I did that for like a week. I'm like, wow, this thing's a pain to put on. I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably inside out. So I switched them around. I saw an article on Amazon from a reviewer who said that his wristband straps got all stretched out after using them for like a month. And I'm not quite sure if he had a faulty one or what, but I've been using this for three months and I think the bands look pretty darn good. I didn't see any wear and tear on them at all. Who knows, maybe after a year or two you need to get new bands for this, but we'll wait and see. Maybe you can order bands later on. And as I talked about earlier, I did not have to recharge the battery for three months. That's a long time. And charging the battery does not take long at all. I'm literally gonna plug in and I can't remember how long it takes, but I think it's only a few hours and it's a fully charged again. So if you only have to charge it once every three months, that's pretty good. The only hassle with putting it on was if it was cold in the morning and I needed to put a jacket on. And so if I put a jacket on, and I zipped it up and I was ready to go out and I said, oh crap, I forgot to put my <laughs> Wahoo ticker fit on. I just have to take the jacket off and put it on. And sometimes just adjusting the sleeves over it was a little bit cumbersome, but these are minor, minor things that would happen with any brand heart rate monitors. There are other heart rate monitors out there. There's Skosh and Polar and Power Labs, et cetera, et cetera. I don't need to test those. I like these, I'm gonna use these until they break down. Who knows, maybe a year from now I'll be doing a different review, but I think these products are really good. I've noticed that if you're gonna have a problem with a technology or electronic, it usually happens within the first three months. After that, if they're good, you're, they're usually pretty rock solid. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, in a year I might be coming back and giving you a different review, but feeling pretty confident about the stuff. I talked a little bit about this at the beginning of the video, but now you're gonna ask me, okay, which one do you prefer? This or the chest strap? Honestly, I could take either one. They're both fine. I do like the ease of this one, and it did connect a little quicker than my chest strap. So just because it's modern, I'll take this. However, if you wanna save 30 bucks, why not just get the chest strap? It's fine, you'll get used to it. If you gain or lose weight, you can adjust it no problem. Either one is good. I prefer this one over the chest strap, but you can't lose with either one. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you like my three month reviews. I'm gonna do it with some other products as well. I think I've got Athletic Greens coming up. I've got Vivo Barefoot Shoes and a couple other. I'm only gonna review products from my popular videos as it seems like the right thing to do. But if I've done a video in the past and you said, Kurt, what's your follow up on X video and I, I hadn't done a review on it, please let me know and I'll if I get enough people asking for it, I'll just go ahead and do a review of that as well. So if you like this video and my other videos, do me a favor and hit the like button, and of course, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos that come out every Tuesday. And of course, you can hit me up at KurtFitFi on Instagram, where I post at least twice a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.